Hi, friends. Remember that parable in Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 29 off the top of your head? I know that you do. Remember, it's that one about that guy who goes on vacation and entrusts his money to his servants. He gives one guy five talents, another guy two talents, and he gives that third guy one talent. And when he comes back, the guy who had five made five more. The guy who had two made two more. And the guy who only had one, he buried it in the ground and he gave it back to his master, safe and sound, and went straight to hell. That's great. So, what does this mean? Well, obviously, what have you done for Jesus lately? Because if you don't do enough with the gifts that he gives you, straight to hell. You know who's missing in that? Jesus. We're doing it wrong. We should start over. Let's try this. What if the talents were the marks of the church? What if they were the means of grace, the ways that God would save us, the word and the sacraments? They come totally apart from ourselves. We didn't earn them. We were given them. Uh, we were entrusted with them. And we don't make them grow or multiply they make us do that because, well, Matthew 25, 29 says, for to everyone who has more will be given and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. You see, just by having this stuff, we will be given something greater, not just a chance to do more things, but just by having the sacrament of baptism, you will be given more life everlasting to the one who has more will be given. And it can't be money. I mean, God didn't die just so that you can be wealthy. Otherwise, there wouldn't be poor Christians in Africa. It can't be works because heaven has promised uh, to be a, a reward, a peaceful place, not one of more toil and stress, uh, a hardship that you would have to earn only to go and get more works. Because remember, more will be given. So the hard work that you're doing down here, just more there. No, that's, that's not great. Uh, it, it can't even be the talents that you have will make you more successful. That's missing Jesus altogether. Instead, what if we didn't hide Jesus from this parable, but we actually found him at the center of it? The gifts given is literally Jesus, actually Jesus, present in, by, uh, with, under bread and wine. It is the body and blood of Jesus for you. Jesus in the water. Jesus, the word of God for you. You see the fullness of this text because you have these gifts now. More will even yet be given to you. The sinner, the sinner is the one who has to hide these gifts. Afraid to go near the word and the sacrament. But faith uses them. Faith grabs hold of the sacraments and even dares to try and find more. And in receiving the gift of Christ crucified, faith is strengthened. Faith grows and you will be told well done thou good and faithful servant even apart from your sins and shortcomings because that jesus that you received in the word and sacraments died for your sins saves you from your sins you have jesus now and in that last great day when he returns in glory you will have even more life everlasting the resurrection of the body with him for eternity thanks for watching us talk at you if you want to see us talk at you some more subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.